Hey everyone, welcome to a short demonstration on Autodesk Inventor's DWG interoperability. My name is Daryl Corelli, and I'm a technical specialist with Autodesk's manufacturing group. What I have open in Inventor right now is a digital prototype of a hydraulic clamping mechanism. And I also have an exploded state, an exploded view of that same digital design. And what we'd like to do is document this as a DWG file to share it with people outside of our engineering group. So first thing you're going to notice is that when it comes to working with DWG files in Inventor, it's just as simple as file and open. And then instantly I'm viewing the exact same DWG information exactly as it was in AutoCAD. So you can see that we have multiple sheets here that make up this DWG file, some different piece parts already documented, and we'd just like to complete this with a top-level assembly view and some additional details. So really quickly, Inventor is going to let us create that um, exploded isometric view in this case so that we can start to add some additional details like a bill and material table, balloons and whatnot, before we send it off to some of the other groups outside of engineering. Creating a bill of material table, again, just another instantaneous utility inside of Inventor so that we can drop in a complete parts list, being able to cross-reference exactly what components are inside our design, how many of each component do we have, other descriptions, other details, whatever it is that's necessary that you need to show inside your bill of material table. And then we can couple that with all of the balloon detailing as well, so that in a single step we can automatically balloon every single component that makes up this digital prototype. I'll just place them really quickly there on the right. And now we're ready to send this DWG file off to the other parts of our group. So you'll notice that as soon as we save that information, that now DWG is holding all of that new information that we added. So if we were to send this to someone in our uh, production environment, someone on the shop floor, maybe someone in sales who uses DWG files as well just to view and send drawings or, or manufacture different components, again, they can just go file, open, and instantly they're viewing the exact same information. So you're gonna notice that they too can see that bill of material table exactly as we saw it. They can see all of the, um, the drawing view details. They can see some of the other dimensions and balloons or whatever it is that's been added. And best of all, you notice there was no translation, no import-export, right? All those people who are using other products, SolidWorks, Pro Engineer, you know, it goes on and on. Whenever they make a drawing, they have their own proprietary file format. Right, so they need to export and translate and hope that things are uh, up to date and that everyone's working off the latest version. With Inventor, you just save your drawing. It's a DWG file, and everyone can start to open it, and everyone can start to reuse it. But it's more than just viewing things. It really has the best fidelity possible when it comes to maintaining the information on your drawings. So if we were to pull off a quick measurement of the... Um, some of the groove details here in that slot. Notice we have a measurement of six millimeters for the, the size of that slot there. If we repeat that exact same dimension in the exact same area that's been called out in a detail view, again, notice that even though the, the scale of the geometry is larger, it's intelligent to know that six millimeters is six millimeters. So this is that fidelity that helps you maintain all of the accurate information inside of your DWG file. But the interoperability is even better than just going from Inventor to AutoCAD. Let's say someone needs to add some comments, maybe add some blocks or add some notes to further complete the drawing set. In this case, someone not in engineering could have the ability to add on a new title block. And in this case, we're just going to place a block in the bottom right, giving us the opportunity to fill out information like who it's drawn by, the fact that this is a hydraulic clamp, additional revision number, sheet number, project number, part number, on and on. So it just, you know, standard AutoCAD use inside of the DWG file. And then from here, what we have the ability to do now is we can actually save this off and send this to someone who was originally creating the document. So as soon as we save it, and as soon as we go back to Inventor, they can open up 
that same DWG file and in real time be seeing the updates that the other people were adding. So notice we now have the new title block referencing this as a hydraulic clamp, who it was drawn by, some of the part number information, and Inventor is even intelligent enough to recognize that as an AutoCAD block. So that means that it's super easy for us to go in here and maybe change a, a drawing standard because we use um, short forms or acronyms for our names instead of the full names. Someone maybe forgot or typoed a few critical digits on part number. So we can add all of that information to it. Again, native DWG, whether we're editing it inside of Inventor or whether we're editing it inside of AutoCAD. So again, thank you very much for viewing that short demonstration on Autodesk Inventor's DWG interoperability. If you'd like to learn more about what we just took a look at, autodesk.com forward slash dp will introduce you to exactly what Autodesk wants to help you achieve with digital prototyping. If you'd like a free trial of the software I was just using, feel free to go to autodesk.com slash inventor test drive and you'll be able to get access to a free 30-day trial of Inventor. If you'd like to view some upcoming webcasts that I'll be delivering and other events that are happening in your area, please go to autodesk.com slash manufacturing center. And lastly, if you have any comments, any questions, please feel free to send them my way, ask.daryl at autodesk.com. I'd be happy to help. Thank you very much, everyone. Have a great day.